Hello guys, I'm Peter from Builder Boeing. Normally when I when a package arrived, I would say this package arrived just a few days ago. Let's see what's inside. But actually this package arrived a few years ago and I've just had it laying around uh, at least a container. So let's have a look what was inside. And um, well, if you haven't guessed from the title yet, you can see from me unwrapping it here that it is OEM fire handles from the Boeing 737. A complete set of fire handles from a real aircraft that's been flying around for like 40, 50 years or so. Normally on this, uh, in my videos, I say that I have too many projects going at the same time. So for once at least, I would like to I would like to wait before doing these fire handles and that's why they have been laying around for so long. I just wanted to wait until I had the time and that was finally here a few months ago. Uh, and when I started I realized that in the meantime, in those almost two years, actually I haven't posted anything about them. Not a single video, not a single picture, nothing. And apologies for that. Uh, actually I thought I had done some, some pictures or some videos and close-ups early on. The fire handles, they are in very good shape. There's a bit of tape up here on the red part because it's a bit loose, but I'm just going to wrap black electrical tape around and then everything will be absolutely fine. Apart from that, they are fully functional and it is a very sturdy unit. They are fully functional uh, with the original uh, voltage, which is 28 volts. So that's going to be a bit of an issue perhaps. And uh, the handles are locked with a solenoid inside. Um, because, at least from what I know, when you pull up the handle, a lot of the systems in the aircraft is going to be bypassed because there is a fire. So when you pull the fire handle, different systems are bypassed. And that's why you don't want to do that by mistake. And for that reason, there's a solenoid that locks the handle um, so you don't pull it by mistake. But you can override the solenoid by using this black um, switch up here. And then you can pull the handle. And as you can see here, it requires quite a lot of force to pull up the handle and it also requires quite a lot of force to twist the handle. Now, I only bought the three handles and there was no faceplate light plate panel wasn't available and the box wasn't available either. It was just the three handles. So I need to buy a panel and I need to make a box to mount it. But as you can see, there's quite a lot of force going on, pulling the handle up and down and sideways. And I was a bit afraid if that acrylic that I would buy from one of the different companies would crack when applying so much force when twisting and pulling the handle. So I'm going to do a video about how I ended up making the panel and making sure that it wouldn't crack. So there's a video about uh, the that part. Then here on the side of the panels, you can see there's actually a wiring diagram, which is pretty cool. So wiring up these shouldn't be all that difficult, but it still caused me a bit of a headache for a day or two before I realized what was going on. So that's a video about which pins, if you get your hands on these, which pins to use uh, and what caused the problems. Finally, um, a video about the uh, the interfacing, how I built the unit, what is needed, the different voltages you need, the different power you need, and uh, and how I, I interfaced it. Um, and that's the videos that's coming up in the next couple of weeks. And that's it for now. Hope to see you back for more OEM fun. I'm Peter from Builderboing, and you guys take care. Bye-bye.